when we write code that includes a definition for a class and within that class we have code that returns a function that function because it is within the scope of another function is a closure actually underneath the object that represents this anonymous inner fun function the get closure returns underneath that function the object that represents this function all the reference for the object on which get closure was invoked that's why if we have let's say this object ob1 is assigned with a reference for an object instantiated from the class a and that object holds the variable magic with the value 3 now if I invoke get closure on that object I get a reference for an object that represents this function this anonymous function and that object that its reference is assigned to $f1 actually holds underneath uh, a reference for the object that was created over here and that's why when I invoke over here uh, the function that is represented by the object $f1 holds its reference and that function refers to this uh, error magic over here we get printed to the screen the value 3 that is within the variable magic inside the object that was created over here now if I change that value to 7 we shall see that change when calling uh, the function that get closure returned and as you can see here's the output you can see that we got 7 instead of 3 now we can invoke the function bind to on a closure function in order to bind it with another object as we did over here and the result of calling that uh, function that bind to function is actually a reference for a new object that represents a new function so $f1 still holds a reference for an object that represents a function that is binded with uh, the object that was created over here that doesn't change and we can see that over here when I try to invoke that function I get 7 the same value however um, $f2 is assigned with a reference for a new object that represents a new function that is actually with the same code but this new function is binded to another object to the object that was created over here and that's why over here we get printed to the screen the value 4 as of PHP 7 we can invoke the function call on uh, a, an object that represents a closure function in order to um, invoke that function but um, as if it was binded to another object so over here when I call the function call on the object that represents the closure function this closure function I actually invoke this closure function however uh, it is invoked as if uh, the object $OB3 is the one binded with uh, that uh, closure function instead of $OB1 and that's why we can expect over here to get the value 5 because 5 is stored within the uh, dollar magic variable inside that object that its reference is within $OB3 let's take a look the value is 5